Hello everyone. Welcome to First Online University, a global platform for all your education and growth related needs. In this lecture, we are going to continue with the chapter Halo Alkanes and Halo Arenes. And we will particularly be focusing on the classification of halo alkanes and polyhalo alkanes. As we proceed in this lecture, you will be able to understand the meanings of these terms very clearly. Before we begin, a piece of information for you. You can use the coupon codes Mission J or Mission Need while you enroll at First Online University for Mission J or Need. Let us first discuss the classification of halo alkanes and then we'll move on to the classification of polyhalo alkanes. Now, as is clear from the word polyhalo means it contains more than one halogen atoms. When we talk about halo alkanes, we can classify halo alkanes based on the number of halogen atoms. So these could be monohalo alkanes or polyhalo alkanes. When we talk about monohalo alkanes, that is those which contain only one halogen atom, these it is like again further subdivided into three types that is primary alkyl halide, secondary alkyl halide, and tertiary alkyl halide. Now, what is primary alkyl halide? The alkyl halide in which the halogen atom is attached to a primary carbon, that is the carbon which is uh, you know, attached to just one other carbon atom that is called as the primary alkyl halide. For example, if we have CH3CH2Cl, if we look at the C, the carbon atom to which the halogen is going to be attached is known as the primary carbon. Now, that, that is the carbon that we are talking about, primary, secondary or tertiary. So, it is known as the primary carbon when it is attached to just one other carbon atom. As we can see in this example, chloroethane. The also, it is known as commonly known as ethyl chloride. Now, what is secondary alkyl halide? Secondary alkyl halide is the one in which the halogen is attached to a secondary carbon atom. Now, the halogen atom being attached to a secondary carbon atom means that this carbon atom is further attached to two other carbon atoms. For example, if we talk about this particular compound, which is also called so, uh, you just try naming this compound. So, as we can see that since there are three carbon atoms, we call it as the root name is propane. So, we can call it as propyl chloride or we can uh, call it as chloropropane, 2-chloropropane or iso or secondary propyl chloride. Now, when we look at this, the carbon atom to which chlorine atom is attached is further attached to two other carbon atoms. Therefore, we call it as secondary alkyl halide. Next question or the next thing, next uh, classification or subdivision of alkyl monoalkyl halides is tertiary alkyl halide. Now, tertiary alkyl halide means the halogen atom is going to be attached to the carbon atom, which is further attached to three other carbon atoms that we call as tertiary alkyl halide. For example, we can name this compound as tertiary butyl chloride. Now, the carbon atom to which chlorine atom is attached is known as the, so the carbon atom to which chlorine atom is attached is further attached to three other carbon atoms and we call it as 2-methyl 2-chloropropane. Now, what is the general representation or you can say the general formula of an alkyl halide? The general formula is going to be given by Rx, general representation and general formula would be Cn H2n plus 1 X. Now, based on this, let us have a look at a few MCQs. 2-methyl 2-chloropropane is dash alkyl halide, primary, secondary, tertiary or quaternary. So, you can draw the structure of 2-methyl-2-chloropropane. So, it's going to be like we have propane, okay, to this carbon atom. So, CH3, C, CH3, to this carbon, there is another CH3 attached and there is one Cl attached. So, since this carbon atom is further attached to three other carbon atoms, we call it as tertiary alkyl halide. So, whenever it is asked to you, draw the structure and then answer the question. Next question is, which of the following is a secondary alkyl halide? You draw the structures, okay? Ethyl chloride is primary. 2-bromopropane is secondary. Tertiary butyl, as is clear from the name, is not going to be a secondary one. 
Isobutyl is again not a secondary. So option B is the right answer. Next, we move on to the second classification that is polyhaloalkanes and we will further subdivide the polyhaloalkanes into their further classifications. So, the second type of haloalkanes called polyhaloalkanes are further subdivided into dihaloalkanes that is where we have two halogen atoms, trihaloalkanes where we have three halogen atoms and tetrahaloalkanes where we have four halogen atoms and so on. We can go on further classifying. Now let us first discuss what are dihaloalkanes. As is clear from the name, di means two. So when we have two halogen atoms, for example, if we talk about CH2Cl2, which is dichloromethane, okay, then we can also have the classification as Dihaloalkanes into further classification into geminal and vicinal dihalides. Now, when I say geminal dihalides and vicinal dihalides, geminal is also known as gem dihalides. Now, these are the ones in which the two ha ha identical halogen atoms are going to be present or attached to the same carbon atom. So, when we have CH3, CH, Cl2, that is the two Cl atoms are attached to the same carbon atom, it is a dihaloalkane, but it is a geminal dihaloalkane. The common name is ethylidine dichloride or the IUPAC name is 1,1-dichloroethane. So, you can see here that the two halogen atoms, that is the two chlorine atoms are attached to the same carbon atom and therefore we call it as geminal dihalide. The vicinal dihalide is the one where the two identical halogen atoms are going to be attached to four different carbon atoms which are adjacent to each other. For example, we can talk about 1,1-dichloroethane which is also known as ethylene dichloride. So, what? sorry, 1,2-dichloroethane, which is also known as ethylene dichloride. So, here we see that the two chloro chlorine atoms are attached to two different carbon atoms, which are adjacent to each other. Therefore, we call it as vicinal dihalide. So, this concept of geminal and vicinal dihalide is very, very important to understand. Next, we move on to trihaloalkanes. As is clear from the name, it contains three halogen atoms. For example, we have chloroform or trichloromethane that is CHCl3. Then we have tetrahaloalkanes where we have four halogen atoms present. So, we can talk about CCl4 that is tetrachloromethane which is an example of tetrahaloalkanes. Now, based on this, let us do a few concept check. First question is, which of the following is geminal dihalide? So, you will have to draw these structures and then identify ethylene dichloride, ethylidene dichloride, ethyl chloride and isopropyl chloride. So, option C and D go out of picture because we, uh, here it is just the uh, mono haloalkane that was being talked about. We'll talk about A and B now. Now, ethylene, ethyl, ethylene dichloride is 1,1-dichloroethane and ethylene dichloride is 1,2-dichloroethane. Now, since we know that whenever the two halogen atoms are going to be attached to the same carbon atom, we are going to call it as geminal and therefore option A is going to be the right answer. Next question is, which of the following is vicinal dihalide? Now, again, since we have already seen that option C, DDT and isobutyl chloride, DDT, we have not seen the structure as of now. Do Google the structure and find out what it looks like. It has a lot of chlorine atoms in the world. And, but this is not going to be a part of vicinal dihalide. Isobutyl chloride, again, goes out of picture because uh, it is an example of monohaloalkane. Again, coming back to options A and B, we have already seen that ethylidine Dichloride is an example of geminal dihalide and ethylene dichloride is therefore the correct answer where the two chlorine atoms are going to be attached to two different carbon atoms which are adjacent to each other. So this is all about the classification of monohaloalkanes and polyhaloalkanes. We will be moving on to further classifications in the upcoming lectures. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for joining YouTube live classes for best meet or JE coaching. You can also download the first online university mobile app through Google Play Store or App Store for continuous learning through your smartphones. Keep learning with First Online University, a team of millions of learners and educators worldwide.